next one, this is kind of the, the enhancement, I think it's a pretty big enhancement, and this is something I would recommend everybody checking out. And again, if you have additional questions on this, you know, feel free to reach out to eCapital. We can definitely help you um, evaluate options to be able to, to fully maximize uh, your investment here within PBCS and give you some ideas of how you could be leveraging uh, this new enhancement. This new enhancement is the support of infolets. So, um, you know, infolets are basically, um, you know, kind of a, a, a dashboard within a dashboard, kind of a merge dashboard that provides insight into your organization very quickly. Um, so this is going to be, you know, things that um, you can reference very quickly and can give you kind of actionable decisions um, based on the infolet that you have set up. Now, from a technical standpoint, I do want to mention that, like, in the simplified interface, you're now going to see a new navigation flow button uh, called infolets. So similar to how you would see reports or dashboards. Um, now, this specific infolet that I have here on the screenshot um, you know, does include some uh, graphs and infolet procedures that are not all um, within this update. So that tells me that Oracle will continue to invest um, time and enhancements into this whole infolet um, you know, functionality standpoint. So we'll, I bet you in the April release, we're going to see some enhancements to this. And probably as we go through the summer, we're going to see some additional enhancements. So this is something that I think will really expand that data visualization and light BI strategy within your PBCS instance. Do you want to point out that, you know, just like the dashboards, just like the financial reporting within PBCS, you know, keep in mind that all of the data must be in your PBCS application. So I think that's going to be still the main difference between, you know, an ultimate BI solution versus kind of some of the light dashboarding and data visualization that's available within your PBCS instance. So that can also um, dictate how you design your application because if there are certain metrics that you want to make sure are included, you know, you can always build those into your application and use data management to map them in. So again, if you want to you know, take a step back and kind of evaluate your current strategy and maybe some potential enhancements to it, you know, eCapital is definitely, uh, you know, available and, and will help you do some road mapping there and kind of act as an advisor um, based on what we're seeing other organizations do uh, within the industry. So some things I wanted to point out around designing infolets. So that screenshot on the far right, that's really looking at um, an infolet screen um, within an application itself. So those all would be available currently. Um, you know, we do have some good documentation that has been provided to us um, for the infolet feature. So one of the things that they point out is kind of the anatomy of an infolet. So you basically have three different sections of this infolet that can kind of help bring your data together. The first one is going to be that front view. And so that might be things like, you know, meaningful metrics, status, or counts, or totals within your application. The back view is going to be an example of that would be like graphs. Um, and graph uh, setups, things like that to help kind of visualize your data. And then the expanded view would be additional details to kind of tack on to the front view. And so, you know, that might, if you look at the screenshot here to the right, you would see that all of these views together then can give you a lot of different information very quickly. You'll also notice that you can have different infolet sizes. So you can have one by one, one by three, um, all different sorts of sizes so that you can kind of build the infolet that makes the most sense to your organization and give you meaning info, meaningful information very quickly. One of the things that I liked within the documentation is Oracle strongly recommends that you start with building dashboards that you want to leverage within your infolet. So, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, when we're building dashboards, you know, you're, you're going to start with building forms. So you have your data forms that you can reference that you can kind of build a dashboard on top of. This is really kind of expanding on top of that. So, you know, in this case, you can really start to leverage, um, you know, actually leverage the, the dashboards you're creating to then go in and create your infolet. So another thing that I liked within the documentation was specifically around the 10-90-90 rule of thumb. So what that really means there is kind of getting into the 
overall design of your infolet. So, you know, I think Oracle has some good benchmarks here or some good rule of thumbs that they mention. And really it's all around, you know, these infolets should provide quick status of certain metrics within the organization to give you actionable decisions. So think about um, the top 10% of use cases for data visualization here. Then think about the 90-90. So of that 10%, the top 10% of use cases, let's talk about situations where 90% of the user community would be asking these questions 90% of the time. And if the criteria kind of meets all three of those conditions, it's probably a good candidate for an infolet. So I thought that was an interesting way to look at things, but I thought it was also very meaningful. It can help kind of design the ultimate infolet for your organization. So, you know, this is a good one here. I, I like this one quite a bit. Um, you know, I think that this can provide a lot of um, good data visualization for your organization and really kind of help expand on some of those light dashboards uh, that we've helped some clients create already.